an airline that flies into Charleston and provides direct flights to popular places like Orlando and Myrtle Beach, now ending all services in the coming months. And sending people scrambling to find different plans to get to their destination. West Virginia International Yeager Airport says it has been notified by Spirit Airlines that it will stop services from Charleston in early May. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty talked with one customer who says this is really a major setback because summer travel is right around the corner. I mean, what are people really supposed to do here? I mean, a question Alexis Williams asks over and over again. What are people supposed to do? After hearing Spirit Airlines will end their services at West Virginia Yeager Airport. They don't have any affordable airlines. You're kind of just like putting them in a rough situation if you're canceling the flight. The airline is ending services on May 4th. That means there are no direct flights to Myrtle Beach and Orlando right before summer. It's kind of hard to just cancel flights. It's not like we're in a major, like huge state or city that has these flights going in and out. Airport officials say customers who have flights out of the airport after May 4th need to contact Spirit Airlines. Officials say they are working to restore the popular direct flights to Myrtle Beach and Orlando. It's kind of just isolating Charleston and surrounding cities as a whole. Senator Shelley Moore Capito spoke about Spirit's decision. It's devastating to our community, quite frankly, and we're going to work with the Jaeger Airport folks, uh, with Dominique at the airport to try to do whatever we can to reinstate maybe with another carrier some of these flights but we need to keep you know i can tell you those are that orlando fight i think has been generally packed and full so uh it, it's a blow then no doubt about it but you know what we can uh, live to fight another day here and look for another carrier that will suit our needs just as well Disappointed by that decision, Alexis thinks of those that depend on the flights, just like her, to see her family. I do think it's a major setback. I mean, Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3, at Charleston. Airport officials did say they are very disappointed by this decision, but did point out the grant which attracted Spirit Airlines to the airport in the first place won't have an effect on flights to Dallas or Houston.